Hi everybody, it's Terry Ryder from Hot Spotting. For some time now, I've been trying to convince everybody or anyone who will listen that the most underrated economy in Australia, South Australia, and the most underrated capital city property market in Australia is Adelaide, but um, nobody's listening. But some support has come from um, a major source in, uh, in the news today, and that is a new report from Deloitte Access Economics, the outlook for March. And they say that uh, South Australia is poised to become the nation's fastest growing economy this financial year. They're seeing what I'm seeing. There's a lot happening in that economy that's not getting a lot of national attention because all the attention seems to go to Sydney and Melbourne and the, the lesser states and the lesser capital cities, both in economic terms and in real estate terms, tend to get ignored. But I think that uh, uh, South Australia is indeed going to be an economy that's going to make people stand up and take notice once the news gets out to what's happening there. Uh, Deloitte Access Economics in its report notes that exports out of South Australia have been strong, that retail spending has been above the national average, that uh, small business confidence has grown, that's filtered through to employment growth, which has been improving in South Australia. The unemployment rate um, dropped from about 6% in February to 5.5% in March. International visitors in terms of tourism has, has improved. It grew 6% in the last year. Uh, and then there's an array of energy and resources projects um, happening under construction on the pipeline. There's about $4 billion worth of projects underway right now, another $4 billion worth of projects in various planning stages. Adelaide is actually uh, become established as the high-tech innovation capital of Australia and there's a lot of companies that are moving their headquarters from larger cities to Adelaide for that reason. It's also the uh, national leader South Australia on alternative energy projects and it's got some very very big projects coming up in terms of uh, contracts to construct vessels for the Navy. A lot happening in that economy. Meanwhile, its property market um, is flying under the radar screen, but it's one that um, is growing steadily in average terms. But if you look beyond the, that single um, generalised figure that describes the entire Adelaide market and look at what's happening in some of the sub-markets and some of the uh, individual suburbs, there is plenty of outstanding price growth happening in Adelaide right now. But it's going to come more to the national attention as that generalised figure starts to nudge upwards, which I think it will do this year and beyond as a result of what's happening in the uh, South Australian economy, which has been acknowledged this week with the Deloitte Access Economics Outlook for March. So it's one to take notice of. Um, I keep trying to convince people that it's that it's worthy of attention. Thus far, I have not succeeded, but uh, I'm going to keep banging on about it because I think that this is a market of opportunity, very affordable, and pricing is so attractive. You get such great value for money in the Adelaide market compared to uh, what you get for the same money in cities like Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, rental yields are pretty good. Uh, vacancies are pretty low. Uh, it's really worth taking a look at. So I urge you to um, be one of the, the few that sees this opportunity and sees it. That's it for now. Terry Ryder from Hotspotting signing off. Talk to you again soon.